what is going on guys we are back with y'all deciding game world cup tiebreaker semi-finals whoever wins the team moves on to finals and plays team europe this is brof is playing for us east and trolls go playing for spain and we will do ignore spectators because all these people are joining and this time i have to get the young uh, smoke to pseudo chat on main And Brovis brought a Mega Camera up squad, so that's he has a three potential Scarfers, but I'm thinking it's Scarf Kelly or Scarf Lari. The Gengar should be Z move or Specs. I'm thinking that Z move Gengar to be honest, but it could also be Z move Lando. Last time he used Z move Lari, I don't think he's gonna use it this time. So it's definitely a Hazard second team. He doesn't. I mean, he could have Defog on Lari, but. I think he will definitely have uh, spikes and rocks on his team, I think, yeah. And Trosgo brought like semi rain. Like, this is rain, but he doesn't have abuses, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be Specs, Pelipper. Um, I've seen Trosgo use a team like this on his YouTube or that like, post. And the, the, the. Why can I not speak? The Tapu Coco was uh, bulky. With the berry that gives you. The berry that gives you health back. I think that gives you 50% if you go to 25. And it was pretty bulky and then had like Taunt Ages Madness and you turn if I recall correctly in T-Bolt. And there's obviously Mega Scizor, I think it's Ash Greninja if it's the same thing that he posted on his YouTube. Like those four months were the same. And then the last two slots he had like I think different months. I think he had a Tango and something else. I don't remember the team, but that's just what I remember. Mm, it should be Zemo Landris on this team to be honest. But yeah, Specs Pillow was gonna be uh, cool to see. Specs pillar, I can put in work if it comes in on the stuff like camera update at outspeeds. If it Kelly doesn't have HP electric pull up, we can also get a huge hit off if it comes in on that. But it doesn't really want to switch in on a potential scald. Like we don't know if the Kelly or Scarf specs yet. Hurricane should probably to it Kyoto Landers. Uh the Ferrothorn if he gets some chip damage. He needs like some chip damage to Tweet Kyo Ferrothorn. Um, is he Rocks Clef or is he Rocks Lando? Brovis gets the lead up matchup correct with the Gengar. Pretty sure this is. I'm thinking this is Z move, so he wanted to leave with something that could blow the Pelipa away. Never mind, that is Specs damage that did 51. Gengar versus. Uh, Greninja. And that is definitely Specs, otherwise, it wouldn't have done that much, yeah. You don't even have to calc that, I'm just, I have decided this is choice specs. <laughs> so you can either get up a spike here. I don't even remember if you had defog on his specs Pelipper. His team is not that weak to hazards, actually can't. Huh? Pelipper is weak to rocks and spikes are kind of annoying to him, so he might be defog. But yeah, I think he... If he doesn't have spikes... He can double switch here because you don't want to U-turn, yeah, exactly. If he had to U-turn, he wouldn't have clicked it because you don't want to take Iron Barbs. And Brofus just made the safe Feral Thorn play. I don't know if Brofus knew that this was Ash. And why am I lagging? I'm getting annoyed. Let me close my Discord. Maybe that is the problem here. But usually I always have my Discord open. So the scissor is an option here, or the the Clefable could have flamethrower. I think the Clefable is a good play here, yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to go scissor and get leech cheated, that's annoying. Um, but Brofus is probably just going to get up his hazards here. Um, like, it obviously depends on Trosco's set. But if he goes Clefable, Brofus will immediately think he has a flamethrower. Even though, because like, he, Trosco's reign is, um, if he specs Pelop, but only lasts for 5 turns. So you can like have 5 moves on Clef, like the reign is not gonna be always there, it's gonna go away kind of fast. Um, I would definitely think he's Z-move Landers, I, I probably said that already. Yeah, I said it already in the earlier game that I recorded that Smoktus has like some issues, so that's, that's why they're playing on main. You get up a spike, so this is... The Landers could either be Double Dance or Rocks SD. Uh, it could also be Scarf, but... Like, he has so many potential Scarf. But I don't think he's Scarf Lander, though. He's somewhat weak to Volcarona, so he has to have a Scarf with more than base 100 speed, which is either Keldeo or Lari. We already know the Gengar's specs. 
So the Zemo user is probably the Lando and then Scarf. I think he specs called Scarf Lady or maybe the other way around. <laughs> but yeah, he goes in the cleft, which is what I thought he would do. He can either knock off a flamethrower depending on his moveset. Um, he can also just go for rocks if he has them. We don't know that yet. But I'm thinking this could be Coma and Clefable for sure on Tros Gosset. Yeah, who, who's gonna win is a good question. Trosco, uh, Brof is getting that lead correct was huge, because he already got that Greninja low. And Scarf Gengar is gonna, uh, Spex Gengar is gonna get some kills later. Yeah, Spex Gengar is dangerous. Yeah, I think Brof is wins this. Like he has a slight advantage, is what I would say, from the position that we are in at the moment. But we will see what happens. I also said, I sometimes uh, I'm wrong with my thoughts. They just rolled the rocks, which makes me think that it's Landris. His Landris is probably Choice Scarf, actually, now that I look at his team, because his team is very slow. He does have priority, and if he, yeah, if he's, if he's the stall bracket Coco that I thought he would be, and he's not Scarf Coco. Like, Scarf Coco is not common, but I'm just trying to see his speed control. He has to be Scarf Lander, right? Because his team is so slow. He has Water Shuriken and Bullet Punch, I guess. But, like, his team is not even that bulky. This is a really strange, like, it's an interesting team. Like, this is so not something I would expect him to bring. But yeah, knockoff Ferrothorn, these usually carry lead sheet, uh, knockoff spikes and power whip. So getting rid of the lefties is definitely amazing for Brofist. So if his last move is Calm Mind, he can try to set up. They will force the Gengar, if the Gengar comes in here, they will force the Gengar to go for Sludge Wave if uh, Trus goes uh, Calm Mind's up. Because you don't play around with the Calm Mind Clefable. But yeah, Gengar is going to be so nasty if it comes in later. It's just gonna click Specs Shadow Ball if it comes in on like... Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't come in that much for free. If the Lando's Scarf, it gets outsped by that. But if it's an on Clefable, it's kind of a prediction thing. I think he will just click Shadow Ball every time on the Clefable, as long as the Clefable doesn't have a comment up. Because it's unnecessary to go for Sludge Wave and it could go Scissor and be immune to that. Oh my lord, Brof is the god! How did he know that? I thought he would switch. I thought Brofus would switch. I don't know what Trosco predicted there exactly. That was a strange turn. Like, what did he expect? Um, he probably uh, Trosco probably didn't have Call Mind, and he expected him to go into potentially Camera Opt, because otherwise I don't know what he predicted. Because Gengar probably blows this Pelipper away, so he was not predicting Gengar. There. I don't think so. Like, I can call how much Pelipper takes from Specs Gengar, but I'm pretty sure it gets blown away if it's offensive. Uh, let me say fist dev and then get take, get rid of the bulk here because I'm think specs doesn't run any bulk and let's give the Gengar specs. Yeah, Shadow Ball would destroy with Oko. That's what I'm saying. So he is thirty. He's doing thirty percent because he lost his specs. So yeah, Brovis is just in control of this game. <laughs> like like I told you guys, he needs some chip damage and then he can tweet kill him with specs Hurricane. But he knocked off the specs, so this is not going to be the case. I don't see how Trosco can win this. Like, just honestly. Um, SD Scissor, maybe? If he's SD Scissor, maybe he can pull it off? Oh, I was just talking about Hellout Control earlier. I was talking about this might not have default, but he has a Scissor that is potentially default. Um, but he also has Spikes, so he might... If he has Spikes... Hmm. This might not be default. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping this is SD Scissor. Because I... If he's SD Scissor, he can potentially win late game. He has to weaken the Kamarot and the Kalia though, and... Specs Gengar is also a big problem, but Specs Gengar probably drops easily to Bullet Punch after... Uh, at plus two, obviously. It might live a Bullet Punch at the um, percentage it comes in. It probably comes in at 76% after Hazards. So yeah, Trosco sees he can't break the Ferrothorn, he predict, probably predicted the Leech Seed and went into Clefable. And Brofus just went into Lari predicting what? I don't know what Brofus predicted there. He either break the Scald from Pelipper trying to burn the Ferrothorn. And he could have 
This could obviously still be Z Thunder or like if I'm Z move to blow. Nah, this just beats Pellet, but it doesn't have to be Z. And I'm still thinking he's Z Landorus. I probably said that a few times already, I don't remember. It's funny how dead this shit is compared to Smoke Toes. Usually Smoke Toes shit is so well. If Trolls goes Calm Mind, this is... Like, this still has a chance, but I don't think he is. Like, just the way he has played this Clefable so far. His last move is probably gonna be Knock Off slash... T-Wave. So, like, the last time Trolls got doubled out because he was fearing the... The camera rubbed. So that just tells you that he gets walled by camera rubbed. But this time he goes hard scissor. So he was fearing a potential spec ladding that would blow the Clefable away there. That the 25 scissor wasn't mega bolt. I don't think that's specs. I think that's just scarf laddie. Maybe soul do. Let's uh, just call it choice scarf versus scissor that isn't mega evolved yet. Uh, let's say bulky swords dance. Yeah, yeah, that could be um, the max HP where I'm just some speed dev. Oh, let's say the laddie is. Uh, let's say the laddie is specs and the scissor we. No, no, that, that's definitely not specs. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's definitely. Oh, no, no, wait. Let's say the laddie is scarf is what I meant. Wait, 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 wait. I just maxed up my color. Let's say that, let's say the scissor has no speed death is what I meant to say. The like, scissor doesn't run much speed death. Maybe it runs 40. I don't know how much it run. Uh, but how much would this do? Wait, why does it say it does so much damage? Oh, I put it in the specs. I just got confused. The reason it got confused is because I could put in the choice bags here. Yeah, that's definitely Scarf Lari, I would say. So he goes for U2 and the crit doesn't really matter. It's some nice chip damage for him. He gets some momentum. Brofus might have predicted him to roost out Defog there and he wanted to just get it intimidated off and then threaten this with a potential Z move or SD Landorus. So it goes Negro Ninja and we see it's Leftovers Lando. So it's not Z-Move Lando. Uh, so I'm thinking it's Z-Move Kaleo probably because the Ladi should be Scarf. It, it could also be Z-Move Ladi but I'm just thinking it's Z-Move Kaleo, that's my thought. Just from how this has been played. And... What do you do here if you Brofist? You probably just start pull. You probably go to Keldia here because it covers every single option other than extra sensory. And we you know, already know it doesn't have extra sensory because he showed spikes. His other moves are gonna be Water Shriek and Hydro Pump and Dark Pulse. Mm. I don't think Hard Ferrothon is the play because with Hazards up, you might almost get 2 KO'd. I think we'll just see Brovis going with Keldia here to be honest. It's not like this Greninja is gonna, like the Keldia has to switch in for like off on the Greninja because Greninja is already at 37, after Spike it's gonna be at 25. He goes Ferrothon so he's probably EV to live to. And there's a crit, Oof. so that did 51 which means it would have done like 35. Uh, which means it, pr it wouldn't have 2 hit KO'd without the crit. So Brofus might... Oh, this sucks for Brofus. His timer's at 10 seconds. He has to click or he times out. He almost timed out. Yeah, he, that was about, that is what I'm, I was trying to say. He might not want to give him the Ash form. But I couldn't think about it enough because the timer was so low and I was getting a heart. I was like getting shook because I was like, oh, don't time out my guy. Like, I, I kind of want Spain to win, but I also don't mind if Brofus uh, for wins for East. Mm, like, I would like if a different team wins World Cup because last two years, I think East won. I didn't really follow World Cup. But I know East one last two years. And Trosco's gonna be forced out here into his Clefable. Or Palapur, but probably Clefable is gonna come out here. If you Brofist here, you can just play it safe and click uh, Secret Sword. Cause or you can Hydro Pump to get more damage on the Clefable. I don't think there's a point in doubling. Is there a point in doubling? Yeah, he didn't double. Because we saw the Greninja switched out. 
Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? Is he Spec Scaled you? He might. He might be Spec Scaled you. He just did 88 to Tapu Koko. So he clearly predicted the secret sword there. So if he specs, I would have blown the Clefable away no matter what. The Brofus definitely made the correct play. If I was playing Brofus, I would have gone blown away. I think that's Spex. Tapu Koko versus Keldeo. Yeah, Choice Pump. Yeah, Choice Guff Pump also could have killed if the Coco was offensive. But I was thinking that Coco had some bulk. But we don't know. Yeah, we don't know yet if it's Spex. This could still be Z move. We don't know this yet. Like, we have no guarantee which one of the two is the Scarf or the Z-Move user. Like, you, you obviously don't have to use a Z-Move, but you just... Z-Moves are so good, like, most of the time people use Z-Moves. I mean, Coco was walled by, um... Coco was walled by Camera Rock, but... Coco could have Nature's Madness on a Camera Rock switch, and then it could have... Uh, U-turned into... The Pelipper, if... If he's lacking, oh, does he get a special attack drop? He does not get a special attack drop, so this is a good turn for Brofist. And you can just click Shadow Ball here. Because you don't want the Scissor to come in on the sh Sludge Wave. And Greninja is probably, Greninja might get sacked off here to the Shadow Ball, because I don't really know what else, unless he has Team Wave, there's no point in staying in, so yeah, he's just gonna go, oh, Pelipper is gonna die. Bop. I mean, he had to sack into the Pelipper, Grin, and if he had T-Wave. If he had T-Wave, he could have stayed in, because he was probably... It was pretty obvious that he wasn't going to Sludge Wave with the scissor on the back. I don't know if Camera always wants Ancient Power. I haven't used it much this gen. Oh, I, I haven't seen it used either, much either in World Cup. I think it was, I think it was used two games in World Cup. Uh, I missed one of the games. Which was a Snow West Trosgo. Which is funny, because Tros... Like... People... Probably think that Trosco's that this is good was Trosco because it was brought the second time versus him. The first time the team with uh, Camera also won, but I think the game was hacked. He didn't remember if the hacks mattered. But yeah, he can just click. How much is the Kellyan wrench from Dark Pulse? I mean, he's not gonna go hard kill there here. He's probably gonna sack off his Feral Thorn. This is gonna get the Ash Form. I guess he's gonna click Dark Pulse here. He can click Pump, but I don't think it makes a difference. Because I don't think Brofist will go hard into Keldeo because it dies to Pump. Dark. Pulse, how much did Dark Pulse do to Keldeo? 29? So he does sack the Pharaoh, there's the Water Shuriken. So he Water Shurikens because... If the Ke Wait, what? I think he Water Shuriken because... If the Keldeo is Scarf, he can potentially kill it in the rain. The only reason why he would have clicked that is he he, he probably was offensive Tapu Koko then. Because that's the only way that Pump kills the Keldeo. Um, the Keldeo's Pump, if it's Scarf, the only way it kills the Koko is if the Koko is offensive. So this kind of makes me think that Trosco thinks the Keldeo is Scarf and his Coco isn't bulky and that's why it's why I went for Water Shuriken if, this has a ch if Water Shuriken even has a chance to kill Keldeo that's why he went for that to keep the Keldeo out because to the Ladi or just he went for it to keep the Ladi out to Keldeo out uh, because to the Ladi he has a switch in the Clefable and in Scizor so he, Trosco can make I don't think Brofus is gonna double because it's too risky if Trosco stays in I think he can just... Actually, if he Dragos, the Clef gets a free switch in, and then Trosco can double and get momentum back. Uh, I'm not sure. But I actually wanted to run the Kalk, but that time I saw Lord, I'm not gonna run any Kalk, so I don't wanna miss this turn. Because, yeah, this is like a really important game. Like I said at the beginning, if Trosco wins, Spain moves on to World Cup Finals. If Brofus wins, US East moves on to World Cup Finals, and they face Team Europe. But I would probably click Draco here from Brofist and not risk it. Why did he go to this? I don't know why he didn't go Clefable. That was odd. He probably predicted him to double? I don't understand. Did he predict him to double in the Gengar? No, if he predicted him to double, he would have just clicked Water Shuriken again. I'm not really sure. Oh god, Brofist is out timing out almost. But I already clicked this move. 
I'm not sure why he went into Landris. He predicted a trick. He predicted a trick, probably. Did he? I'm not sure if maybe he predicted a trick. This is U turn. This is even Z move then. I'm kind of so confused by these teams. I'm trying to figure out these sets and then just get thrown off by some sets. But he gets to bring in his Greninja here and get a kill. And now he can just click. I guess Dark Pulse because he doesn't want to risk missing. Dark Pulse kills everything anyways. Kelly should... Oh, actually Kelly might... Yeah, Kelly dive to Ash Dark Pulse right after Hazards. Mm, I don't know the Kalk, but it should die. It should be at like... 35. Oh, maybe that's the roll. Let me calc that real quick. Kill you was Greninja Ash. Uh, yeah, it kills. Okay, just making sure. I don't want to say anything wrong here. I do. I know that I mess up sometimes. It's either because I'm tired or just because I don't know. It just happens when I speak too fast. Sometimes I don't pay attention. But it's also because I'm tired. But it's fine. Dude, yeah, all these ten things. So he sex does to water shrink. So he cl he keeps clicking water shuriken to keep the Kelly out, but I don't think this keeps the Kelly out because the rain ended, and it also gives the Latios switching again. I'm really not sure why he didn't go Clefable on the Latios because I think it was too risky for Brofist to double or to click anything other than Draco there, because if he psychics in the Grand stays and he's in a bad position, and another Greninja dies to Spike, so Draco's still his best play. Unless he has a, obviously another move to hit this, but I think he's just trick and default in his last slots. Like I'm not sure which one is the scarf. I'm kind of so confused a bit. Both has got his time up back up a little bit, so he does switch in the club this time, and he does go. Oh my fucking god! Like Brof is Brovis play like puts him in such a good position. This does do 47. Is this is this soul do? We do have to run a calc if it's soul do. Oh my I just got thrown off by the Lord play. <laughs> yeah, he's just scarfed and got a high roll. I think. Dude, the timer's really winning gone for true. Go holy shit. Trosgo's gonna softball here slash go to Scizor. And I think he has to softball and hope that this Lottie doesn't get the roll. The roll is slightly in Trosgo's favor. I mean, what does this Clefable even heal on? It doesn't heal on much other than this, so he might have to stay in and go for softball. But they're both on 10 seconds. Holy shit. Um, but I'm pretty sure, like, Brovis is just too good, man. So he sacks his Landorus, there's his V-move. So this answers all my questions. Okay, now he looks like Jesus. This answers all my questions. Trust, um, the Lottie is... The Kaldio Scarf and the Lottie is just... So I was talking about Scarf Lottie. What I meant basically by that the entire time is the Lottie doesn't have a boosting item. I still wasn't sure if the Kaldio or the Lottie is the Scarfer. Now we know the uh, Kaldio is the Scarfer, confirmed the, Land the Gengar is... Specs and he goes on the camera up to you. What? Predicting a U turn, that's a god play, but like. This prevents Clef from healing, I guess. Like, Clefable does not speed the camera up, does it? I never use camera ups, I have no idea. I think it loses speed after it mega evolves. Yeah, yeah Clefable speeds it. So he goes in a sizzle, which makes me think that he's gonna have to defog here for his Greninja. Or he's offensive with superpower and thinks he can kill this. Is he gonna defog a superpower or what? What? I guess he's just gonna get chip damage. He's gonna sack his Landorus or Gren here. I thought he would defog to bring his Greninja back to life. Because his win condition, his win condition is basically Greninja, I think. 
Actually, this game is not over yet. I might have spoken too soon. Like, yeah, it's not only Greninja. I was saying Greninja has a win come, but Cesar can also win the game. Um, I thought he would have sacked the Landris there, but he's probably gonna go Landris now to scare this out. I'm not really sure why he went into. Wait, wait, what happened again? I gotta go back to turns. Oh, he U-turned. He was. Oh, okay, he okay. So he U-turned on the camera. I was like, why did he go scissor on this instead of Landris? But his Landris was out and U-turned, so that was a really smart play by Brofist. So, Trosco is gonna have to Moonblast and hope for a special attack drop, because this is gonna get blown away. This is gonna do 70%, 85. So, he had to hope for a miss there. This game is over. Uh, Brofist is the god. I mean, he can still uh, win with Scizor. He can still win with Scizor. I said the game is over, as in it's over, over. How much did you turn do from Scizor the camera up? So, yes. Yeah, yeah, this is in range now. Scizor can still win. I was, I was speaking too soon. Um. That the thing is, the Caldeo, the Caldeo is out of range from Bullet Punch, even if it's minus defense nature with Stone Edge and Scarf, which most of them are, they run like minus defense, so Stone Edge does more damage to Volcarona. Um, Brofus is still in a good position with his Caldeo. So there's Lari with Psychic, Draco, Gigavolt, Havoc, and the last move is either Recover or... I don't think it's gonna be Defog on this team, because he doesn't have anything weak to Hazards and he has Hazard stack himself. Um... It's either HP fire or recover, I think, on the Lottie. Bullet Punch should kill this, right? You then did 22, yeah, Bullet Punch is a bit, little bit weaker, because Bullet Punch is 40 base power, but it gets boosted by Technician. You then is 70, if I'm not mistaken. So this Bullet Punch should kill. And now he's gonna go Caldeo here, and... He might have to hit a Hydro Pump, or hope that he Skull Burns. Um, or if his Gengar, yeah, his Gengar's in bullet punch range. I don't think Lari has HP fire to kill this. So he has to go kill you here, I think. And if, let's see if Hydro Pump kills. Or if he's gonna go for Scald. If he's gonna have to go for Hydro Pump is what I'm trying to figure out. It depends on how bulky this scissor is. If it's this breath from the Kalk. Scald. Oh, Scald kills, wow. Why does Scald just... I didn't think I didn't think Skull would do that much. So Skull is gonna kill unless he has a bit more speed left than the Kalk Scissor and he gets a low roll. So yeah, Brofus should just win with Skulling twice, unless Bullet Punch gets a crit here. Um like if the Kelly has a minus defense nature, a crit might kill, but not sure. I don't think even the crit kills. Unless like I haven't calculated with the minus defense nature. I think it's hasty, let me calculate that real quick. Hasty. Yeah, I don't think that kills with a crit unless he has. A, he needs attack investment to be able to kill this with a crit. So he has Surf instead of Scald for the power. Um, some people wanted it for the power because I think it 2 it kills Tapu Lele after Rocks. Was it after Rocks? There was some Pokemon that 2 it kills after Rocks or after some sort of damage. I forgot which Pokemon it was. I think it was Tapu Lele that got 2 it killed after some prior damage. By serve instead of if you run Skull, you have to rely on the burn. And yeah, Brofus wins and US East is in World Cup Finals, so congratulations. And they're gonna be facing Team Europe there. And thank you guys for watching. Really, um, I don't wanna say speechless, but like, I'm really thrown off by the Team that draws go broad. A really odd team show as well, like. It's just weird. I don't know what to say. Uh, did he show his move? He didn't. Did he show if he was? I think he had to be Scarflander because his team was slow. I mean, he doesn't have to because he had like double priority. But like his team is, like I said earlier, not even that bulky. So speed control would make some sense. Priority alone is not always enough speed control, in my opinion. Unless you have a bulky Cordial Lion and like Pelipper was offensive, so it didn't really have bull. Um, Brofus made some God plays where he went for Psychic. Early on the Greninja because he knew that Trosco wanted to save it and I thought he could have just gone for Draco but his play was just put him in such a good position so Brofist only lost one game so far which was was his Trosco I think he got hacked a little bit in that I don't remember if it mattered and I think Brofist is 4-1
I just woke up now. I don't remember how many games he played. It's either three one, four one, or five one. I think it's four one. So yeah, stay tuned for our World Cup finals between Europe and US East. It's gonna be hype. And I'll see you guys with the next video. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. I know this was highly requested, this tie break. And you guys wanted to see this, even though it was sadly not on Smokters and this chat was a bit weird. I would prefer to, to play on Smokters the next time. Thank you for watching. Doc Rich signing out. Have a fantastic day. And well played by Bro for a second. Like, he didn't really make a misplay. Like, even his lead was immaculate. Just saw that, he just saw that Gengar goes in. So like, I don't know, maybe Trotsky should have left with something that matches up better with Gengar, but I'm not gonna try to discuss every turn now, just... Brovis is a god, I know this, and it's really hard to beat him. And... I'm out? Goodbye, I don't know what that weird intro was.